Have you been at the bedside of someone you love as life ebbs away? Have you experienced the quiet solemnity of the memorial service? Have you been at the graveside as grim reality merges with reflection and tears? The end of a life is accompanied by grief, sadness, heaviness of heart, burden of spirit, loss of energy, lack of enthusiasm, a near paralysis of purpose and meaning. Why did this happen? In this manner, to this person, why here, why now, and what next? How will we cope? How to ease the pain? How to make sense of it all? How to recoup and recover? The questions seem never ending while answers are reluctant to surface. Those who followed the healer most closely heard his preaching, believed his teaching, and witnessed his healing power had the same questions. After all, they never expected it to end this way. So suddenly, so violently, so publicly, they thought that this was just the beginning of a promising career for the healer. He had warned them that this would happen, that it was inevitable and that time was short. But somehow they didn't hear, couldn't understand, or refused to accept the possibility that the end stood on the very doorstep. The end of an amazing ministry the end of their own political aspirations, the end of their hopes and dreams. It happened before their very eyes. The healer's arrest, trials, torture, humiliation, crucifixion, and burial, all within less than 24 hours. They scattered and hid, afraid for their own lives. It was over, the end. But the end was not the end. And the end is not the end. The end is only the beginning. The healer's story is an infinite one, not bound to some 30 years existence on this earth. Rather, it is a story beginning in eternity past and extending through eternity future. Jesus the healer lives today in a timeless place beyond our knowing. The reality of his resurrection assures the promise of a new beginning, a new creation, and new life to come. Even as he lives within us each day, offering healing for today, and hope for tomorrow. Dear Lord Jesus, Healer, thank you for knowing us, for hearing us, for loving us, for healing us, for being by our bedside and by the graveside, for being in our hearts. May we embrace the hope of life eternal as we experience your healing presence in and through our lives today. Amen.